Hello everybody, one more time, my name is Alex Centeno and today, as always, we have a great tutorial. Uh, in this case, we're going to break it up in three different sections or four different sections, depending on. Uh, but we're going to be taking a look at how to affect saturation in DaVinci Resolve 12. Let's get to it. Great, so I'm here in DaVinci Resolve 12 and a, I have a clip already in my timeline, two clips to be precise, and I am in the coloring tab. So the first technique for increasing saturation that we're gonna be taking a look at is uh, the more traditional technique. So let's go ahead and um, delete all this that I have here and I'm just gonna start with uh, a basic correction note here uh, that we're gonna call correction uh, as you can see this is just a vlog from the GH4 directly from the camera so I have some corrections here that brings it to Rec 709 and then here we're gonna call this one saturation. And uh, probably the most common way of adding saturation to your image is to come to your color wheels here in the primary wheels. And then at the bottom you see a slider here, a dial that you can increase. Right? You can go, um, you know, you can increase it, increase it as much as you want. Um, and as you can see, it actually increases your saturation. Uh, in order to tone it down, uh, you don't necessarily have to tone it down there. You can actually come to the gain of your saturation node and change it accordingly. So if you went too far, you can actually bring it down a little bit. In this case, to 0.8 or 0.5, bring it down the effect of your saturation node. So that would be the most basic, I think, most basic way in which to add saturation to your image. Let's go ahead and delete that one and uh, look at a second technique to add saturation without doing it that way. So the second technique that we're gonna take a look is going here to this number two that is here hidden. And in fact, for me, it was a little difficult because going from version 11 to version 12 uh, you couldn't really find very easily the color boost dial that was hidden here in this two before it was in a different palette altogether but that's the second technique so color boosting here so you can increase color boosting um, and again you can tone down the color boosting by reducing the gain depending on how much you want to uh, modify of that saturation. I think that this works already much better uh, and you can combine those two techniques, one for color boosting, the other one for saturation per se to uh, be able to control the saturation in your images. So those two techniques are probably the most basic ways of uh, managing or adding and removing saturation from your images. In the next video, we're gonna take a look at uh, two other techniques a little bit more advanced and, and techniques that I like.